Anyway, we're going in with this. I, I think this is a good time. It's at eight, man. We should do this now. We shall see what yes. Holds. All right, it's all good. I don't need Sunset Wanderers to pull rings, man. We're doing it. We're doing great here. Oh, Mosh, welcome. Oh, you better not get Gollum, man. No one can hide. Reeds. Oh my. I can kill it, but I've got Vilgefortz. I'm gonna kill it, guys. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you for the followers. Thank you to uh, Mosh for the raid. Appreciate it. Focus on its movements. Quiet the noise in your head. Yo, it's actually good they got Reeds because they played Mentor. Mentor onto Reeds would have been 13. Name's Reeds. Remember that. It's not even that big. But it it can definitely do huge damage um, with the order. So we're gonna get it out of the way right now. Yes! We got a full kill. We didn't get anything out. What's up legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 6,000 subscribers. I'd really appreciate it. So for today, I've put together another ringed deck. Um, it's got a hyper thin emphasis to it in that we're looking to thin down to a very low amount of cards in order to play Imperial Golem from the ability of uh, Triss, Yennefer, and Zarthisius as well. So I'm just going to run you through this list now and explain how to play it a bit further. The leader ability that we're using is Tactical Decision. You get to spawn and play this unit that you see here. When you do this, you get to draw up to three cards, then put the same number of cards on top of your deck. Leader ability is used to delay the summoning of Sunset Wanderers. So when Sunset Wanderers is about to come out onto the board, you want to hit leader ability at that time. In addition, you kind of want to hold onto leader until you have Snowdrop down on the board first, because Snowdrop gets a really good boost from her ability, um, synergizing well with our leader as well. So our leader ability is used to help get round control round one. Also, if you haven't used it round one into round two, you could kind of use it to push a bit and bleed because it can be pretty good tempo. So the stratagem that we're using is Lamp Gin, this token unit that you see here. I've opted for this in order to give us a few more points to get round control when playing this list. What I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match. So to begin with, we have a number of special cards at the bottom of this deck. My reasoning for that is it um, decreases the likelihood of having units left in our deck towards the end of a match when we're playing these cards in particular. So therefore, they should play um, exactly how we want them onto Imperial Golem, most likely just having Imperial Golem as our only unit left in our deck. So we've got two Jousts. They just offer us some damage points, four points of damage. You can also use them to um, boost one of our units and give our unit shield. All these four provision cards you see at the bottom of our deck, they're just fillers in the deck. You can just use them as you need to. Um, in addition to that, they're gonna be targets for Dead Man's Tongue as well. So you can use the Joust as you like. We also have Red Haze. Choose an enemy unit, then damage one adjacent enemy unit by its power. It's, Red Haze is pretty sneaky. I don't think most people would expect it. So I've given this list a fair amount of control options for us here. So use Red Haze as you need to. Uh, we also have Spores. Reset the power of a unit. Now when you're resetting the power of a unit, obviously this will work most effectively on units which have been boosted. So it's kind of a tall punish card. Once again, just save this as you need to. In some matches, you'll find that some of these bronze cards don't give us much value that's where you're going to use dead man's tongue to banish those cards okay 
Imperial Diplomacy. Mm -hmm. Create and play a bronze card from your opponent's faction. <laughs> um, it's, it's a bit of a high roll thing. Sometimes you don't get the best selections. Sometimes you do. Depends what kind of faction you're using this upon as well. Um, Die Meridian Bomb, more control. Damage a unit by four. Keep in mind, you give it Veil as well. So as I said, you're just going to use these bronzes as you need to. There may be one left over by the end of a match. The way I've calculated the thinning in our deck, if we thin out everything correctly and play everything out, I believe we'll just have two cards left in deck by the end of a match. Um, if we don't play Ring of Favor out, and it banishes and we draw a card i think we only have just golem left in our deck by the end of a match which is pretty good in most cases um for the thinning aspect of our deck we're going to discuss that now so with leader ability we're looking to combine a fan and mage assassins those are the cards that we wish to keep in our hand at all times so in this case you're looking to keep a fan you're looking to keep mage assassins in your hand um, so that immediately when you play leader and draw three cards, you're going to be looking to put a fan back on top of deck and the mage assassins. And according to their ability, they get drawn out to the board and it gives you a nice point swing. Um, obviously, you're getting five points here, two lots of two points, but also two lots of um, damage as well, the way these cards work. So mage assassins, a fan, try to save leader and play it when you have these in your hand at that time maxi is pretty good in a list like this because we do need some certain cards in hand and at a certain place in our deck so when you play maxi look at your deck in order from top to bottom you may shuffle your deck then put a card on the bottom of it if your if your um, upcoming draws look good just click confirm choice don't change anything but if it doesn't look like it's that good and you want to get some more consistency um Put something on the bottom of your deck the card you're going to look to put on the bottom of your deck should always be imperial golem last thing we want is this in our hand this card's always going to be in our deck so maxi's pretty good round one if you like to use her so we are playing rinse and because we're playing rinse again i've got rico again in here whenever opponent plays a unit while rico is in your hand or deck set his power equal to that unit's power so rico is to synergize with Reince, um, on deploy, Reince looks at the top three units in your deck. You're moving one to your graveyard, then destroy an enemy unit with power equal to that unit's power. So Rico is fantastic with Reince, as you can see by that card's description, and Reince's works pretty good. And while we're on the topic of Reince, his order ability is that you set the power of a unit to match the number of cards in your deck. So Rinse is like a control card for us. Gives us two different control options if you look at it that way. Um, Rinse would be best played round two or round three in my opinion because of the thinning we would have done by then. So basically you're always wanting to keep Rico in deck at all times for Rinse. Same thing with Imperial Golem. Always keep Imperial Golem in your deck at all times. It plays for a deploy of reveal the top unit from your opponent's deck, damage self by its power, then shuffle it back. But like I said, we're not concerned of playing Golem for deploy. Um, but if for some case that happens in a match, that's how it's going to play out. We've discussed this card. Dead Man's Tongue, banish a card from your deck. If it was a bronze, banish another bronze card from your deck. So we're looking to banish bronzes with Dead Man's Tongue. In my opinion, for Dead Man's Tongue to play best, you really want to hit it before you play Leader Ability, before you play Snowdrop. Um, so you draw into better cards that you'd like to see. So I believe this card should be played out around one early on. And the way you're going to use it is, like I said, depending on the deck you're versing and what bronze cards you think are valuable or not, you're going to banish the ones that are not um, as valuable. So if you're versing a deck that's not going to do much boosting, you know, Spores is going to be your option. And if you think Red Haze is going to be a bit sus to play, you can just banish those two out. Then you've got the other options too. So that's how you look and use Dead Man's Tongue. For some more control, I've added in Sword here. Damage an enemy unit by 5. Repeat once for each status it has. Extra control option in our deck. Use it as you need to comfortably. 
Snowdrop. Zeal Order Ability. You can use it right away because she's got Zeal. Draw up to two cards. Shuffle the same number of cards back to your deck. Whenever you draw a card, boost off by two. So some apparent synergies we have in this deck with Snowdrop are she'll work great with Sunset Wanderers. You'll get a boost there. Um, in some cases, could work good with Ring of Favor as well. In addition, it works very good with this card here because this card's consistently drawing. And as I said, leader ability as well. So what we want to do with Snowdrop is utilize it just before we hit leader ability when we're looking to commit leader or when Sunset Wanderers is about to get drawn out to the board, then you want to use Snowdrop just to delay Sunset Wanderers. So very good high tempo play, Snowdrop and leader. So with this card here, Yennefer Divination, deploy is ranged. Reveal a random unit from your deck, then boost an allied unit by its power. As I said, we're looking to use Golem for this card. So we'll get a 12 point boost when playing Yennefer. I'd suggest um, we play Yennefer at, towards the end of a match as your final card. So it'd be a round three card really most of the time. Same with Triss, range draw, reveal a random unit from your deck and damage an enemy unit by, by its power. So Triss gives us more control to this deck, which is pretty nice. Try to time her play as best as you can. 12 points of damage is pretty good. Um, Doadric, deploy if you control an agent, um, gain zeal. Order is ranged, so we're playing this range draw. Draw a card, then move a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. So bear that in mind. Um, we can use the order ability maybe to place Golem at the bottom of our deck or something else we, we may not really need. Um, you want to also play this in combination with Snowdrop and to help delay Sunset Wanderers from dropping down onto the board. So this could come out around one. It could be around one card for you if you like. Sarthesius, deploy, reveal a random card in your deck. If it's a unit, boost off by its power and shuffle it back. If it's an artifact or a special card, you play it. So if we utilize all our thinning, options including ring of favor getting banished we should only have golem left in deck so this card should boost itself by 12. if not you're just going to play your remaining special or golem it's going to be a 50 50 kind of play you'd want to play this at the end of the match with tris and yennefer as well more control we've got bilgaports here so you can use this for control melee row destroy an enemy unit then your opponent summons the top unit from their deck to a random enemy row, ranged, destroy an allied unit, then summon the top unit from your deck to a random allied row. So maybe you want to use this for control at the end of a match or some point during a match, or you could save it for the end of a match to draw out Golem, as that should be the only unit left in our deck. Um, and what you could do is destroy a low powered unit such as Triss or Yennefer that we may have at that time. Ring of Favor, this card starts in our hand. While in hand, at the end of our turn, increase boost by two. When your opponent ban passes, banish yourself from hand and draw a card. So Ring of Favor is just a nice way to help us get points and around control round one. Sunset Wanderers, this card starts in the leftmost position of your hand. At the beginning of your turn, while in hand, move yourself one position to the right, then boost yourself by one. What you want to do basically is try to play cards from the left of Sunset Wanderers. You don't want to be playing them in front of Sunset. The more cards you play in front of Sunset, the quicker this card will come out. This is obviously a conditional thing. Um, so basically, look to use leader ability, as I said. Snowdrop, Doadric, to delay Sunset Wanderers from summoning self to a random allied row. Sunset can get pretty big in this deck with all the delay options we have for Sunset Wanderers. And Reigns have already covered. So now that I've outlined the list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. In my opinion, the line we want to take is round one, you want to play cards out such as your thinning package, that's fine to go, a fan, mage, assassin. Um, use leader ability if you have to, 
to get round control or get out of a bad spot but if not save it if you can okay round one cards could be your bronzes it can be maxi um you could use sword snowdrop uh you've got ring obviously um doadric you got a few different options like that say we get round control you can bleed with this deck if you haven't used leader and maybe if sunset wanderers hasn't come out yet you could consider it then if not you're probably just going for a long round three and obviously then you're gonna um hopefully have set your deck up that you've only got imperial golem as the only unit left in your deck and what you can do from there is obviously play rings out you got vilga forts tris yen and whatever else is left so i hope you're going to enjoy this variation of this kind of arena deck thanks for your support as always all right so it's a stockpile matchup Ooh. maybe we'll put her away if they're going first okay see what happens Sorosh you absolute legend welcome to the chat good to see you brother what's happening what do we well maybe I get an engine through this yes we do get an engine It's all good. Stay positive. Stay focused. We look to do our best. I pass on every tenth ride. I'm an officer. I'm a gentleman. What's going on, friend? Welcome. Good to finally have you. Uh, when you play a unit with orders, be stopped by one. Not really seeing any synergies. Maybe I can kill those off? I don't know. <laughs> hey, that works. <laughs> that was a pretty good bombardment, man. <laughs> I like it. Not a, not a bad high roll, eh? <laughs> We're living up to the magical moments, alright? Uh, goodness. Maybe I should get this down. Your magic can't harm me. No magic can. Uh, okay, oh. Yeah, I think... Let's put Gollum down. Yo, what's up, Fly? Um, it's kind of a lot to take in. I won't know until I see it played, really, to be honest with you, but it looks like a super interesting card. I can't wait to test everything out. I'm not going to hold back. I'll do it all. Oh, Red Haze. Uh, I don't know about Red Haze yet. Maybe we just do this. Probably spores will go. <laughs> What's up, friend? Drummer? Okay. Right. Well, it's at five now. Still haven't used this stratagem. Back to the ghost whence it came. <laughs> Long round with all their carryover. I don't know. We'll see how they play it, though. I'd rather not get a leader because we're kind of saving it for our thinning package. 
<clears throat> this deck's a bit specific how you play it. You kind of want certain cards in your hand before you hit leader. So we really want like one, two, especially snowdrop as well. Can always come back to these. He's really good because he can delay Sunset Wanderers from dropping down. Works really good with Snowdrop too. Thanks, Arush. Appreciate it. Thanks for your dedication, man. They're playing in. Okay. Could joust it. We're not giving him a target. Siege scenario. Maybe I go leader. It could be. It is peace you desire. Prepare for war. Beautiful. One, two, three. Probably this now. I don't really want that. Bottom of deck, yeah. We got pretty lucky with what we pulled there. It's good. Thirteen points. Take it easy on me, man. It's probably Vilgefortz. Mistake stars reflected in a pond for the night. Left, right, left, right. Yeah, we we kind of want to delay sunset, so. We'll come to them. We got Snowdrop. We got Reins. Yeah, so Sunset Wanderers is gonna come out now. gonna give us points now anyway it's good snowdrop would have been better if we had it with leader Might be Reince now. If they play another. Has to be anyway, I think. What do we got?
12, 9, 5. Uh. Time for a rematch, Lady Yennefer. With power equal. I think I'm just getting rid of this. Yeah. Set the power of a unit to match the number of cards in your deck. <laughs> oh, we just did it. Jeez. And we still got some good stuff left. But, um, Voltus Pride and Henselt's pretty nuts. It's perfect. Wow, man. That was so tight, hey. Like, we completely lost value on the reins. Well, they've already used it. Do we really want to boost that butt? It's going super tall. What kind of a deck are they? You reckon they misplayed flu? I don't know, I'm just a bit sketchy on boosting that. I could be wrong. But I just feel like I'm going to rely on my common sense a bit. And just um, not go too tall into one unit. Some good points, man. But um, Faltus, Pride, and Hensel's ridiculous. Like that combo that they pull out with this leader. But they didn't go Hensel. What do you guys think? They got it or not? Oh, it's going to be close. <laughs> yes! Oh, take it! Yes! Oh, get it! <laughs> Maybe we want to hold spores for a match like this. It's going to be um, Thrive Force of Nature, I believe. Most likely. Should have guessed, huh? Who would have known that I'd play such a thing? <laughs> Maxi probably makes sense first. Okay, you're so it's like one. That's pretty good to pull. Snowdrops there. Uh, actually, might click it. I'm gonna try everything. I'm not holding back on anything. But um, monsters is usually what I go for first. Uh, are they playing um, a Maddox Deathwish? If they're doing that, could it be? I wonder if it's Maddox Deathwish, if they've got that unit. Oh wow, it's gonna be a lot of tempo. They're just leaving it. Very confident player. Extremely confident. I don't have a lock anyway for that or something else. I use that here really? 
Let's do this first. You can always come back to it. Yeah, the new cards definitely had a lot of potential, for sure. Trying out the deck. Some crazy points, huh? Very, very crazy points. Oh, there we go. Yes. That's some crazy tempo, eh, with Snowdrop. Jeez. <laughs> you don't like self eater, huh? Yo, that's so good. Guys, they put Fog there. That's actually one of the reasons why I went for that option. It's going to kill that one powered unit and we get the, um, what do you call it? The Harpy out of it. Mate, we're one step ahead. Don't worry. We got plants. on give us a harpy why not in his natural habitat he's saying that because of the the game board we're playing on because <laughs> it's a monsters game board are you talking about the magic because you'd be correct on both all right Ring's looking pretty good. I could I could kill this one here. Then Sunset Wanderers comes here. My insane luck. True, true. Doing good. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. I love you guys, man. Jeez, this community is awesome, man. Honestly, I love it. I got nothing but good words for all of you. Legit. All right. Oh yeah, it'll be big hype for sure. Yeah, new expansion starts to merge cheese. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 
<laughs> he didn't know, huh? I mean, I should just... I should just take it into a long round, yeah? So... Yeah, I think I'm just going long rounds. Kind of need to work. That's great to hear. Thank you for the kind feedback. Appreciate it. I'm all about positivity, bringing people together. And um, that's it, man. Just good times, you know. People play Gwent for a lot of reasons. Some come here to de-stress. Some come to find new friends. You know, let's focus on the good things about the game. And leave everything else out. Mister? Yeah, he's great. <laughs> uh, love, I love that leader skin. Man, it's it's a pretty good kill there with Reince, huh? Takes away consume. Just gotta hope. Sunset Wanderers don't pull um Gollum. Legit. It's been doing very well. Better than you? What happened? <laughs> it didn't work out well for you. Share your sorrows, friend. We're here to support you. We got a huge spores there. We also got big control with this. I could use Reince's order. I should probably offload Reince's order, really. No! Oh. Maybe I should keep... Um, I should probably keep the 8 at this time. <laughs> Mate, I'm not quitting. I don't care. I'm still playing. It was a risk, man. It was a risk. We can't let them know. They'll get very confident. If they find out. Jeez. What do we do, friends? What do we do? Oh, it's a great sports target coming up. Yep, so we just let that gather. That can just keep eating up. Don't show them. <laughs> Don't show them. Don't show them.
We're using psychology, you know. We can't let them know, man. They can't find out. You never know, Golem might play good. Who knows? Like, just on the deep blue. It's pretty big damage. Interesting choice. <laughs> uh, come on, hit Yen. Give us something. Give us something to work with. <laughs> they might not have really good units left in deck. Maybe Golem plays good. Yes! Yes! All right, I feel not so bad. <laughs> oh, crap. That was an interesting play. Oh, it was close. It was close, man. That, hey, that ain't too bad, considering how stuffed up that situation was. Found, all right? <laughs> We're on Gollum's watch, man. He does what he wants. These are good. Okay. It's imprisonment. We're gonna come back to you. Probably don't want spores, do we? We still don't- well, I don't really know what kind of a list they are. This community is so lovely. Man, it's great to hear. Welcome to the community, my friend. And welcome to the KG army as it continues to grow. We're taking over, baby. We're taking over. We're all gonna make it, alright? Straight up. I'm going to the top. Eight to ten coffees a day? Jeez. It's pretty wild, man. That's a lot of um, caffeine. You gotta be careful. Too much probably ain't good. These are not good options. We're just buffing the crap out of Lamp Jin. That's our strategy. They're gonna buff him up. We're gonna give him armor. We're gonna give him shields, whatever we can do. We're gonna keep him alive. Round one. This is. It's an incredible strategy we formulated here. Not many could think of such thing like this. It's amazing what we can come up with sometimes. Hail Kerzer. Oh, uh, you just made one like this? Yeah. You know, I made that Colgrim deck, I was like, okay. I just want to explore Reince a bit more. 
because I don't really play him too much. So it's like, yeah, he makes sense in like this kind of a hyper thin list too. Maybe we just lose on even, huh? 11. <laughs> oh, this, this has been a funny match. 20 point Jin, take it. Go Yennefer onto it, come on. I'm trying to bait out your tall punish right now. <laughs> uh, thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, it's past, man. With Unicorn? Unicorn and a Seer, how? Like, what do you do? Unicorn. What kind of unicorn are we talking about? You mean the one that we catch Geralt on? What unicorns do you speak of at this time? I must know. We didn't see Calvate from the opponent, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not really sure what's going on with this list. We have some vile activities that we're seeing. Your magic can't harm me. Oh, we're drawing no the snow dog. How long is a stream for me with Gwent? Uh, for me, I usually stream like two to three hours, usually. Alright. Oh, Sword's pretty good up there. Leader's just gonna lock this right away, yeah? Hit that. We'll see. Unfortunately, our um, mage assassin friends decide to play up a bit, and we did lose some value there. This will get locked right away. This will get locked right away. Oh my god, man. Gotta kind of leave that there. We play the eight for zeal. Managed to get by keeping sunset. Oh! We got it, we got it. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Drink your coffees. It's coming. We gotta fix our hand up, man. Get back. Get back. This is our best bet. However, does not have zeal. Hmm. 
We're gonna keep it as big as Gwently possible. We're trying not to break the game of Gwent here. We don't want to get banned. We want to practice ethical Gwent gameplay. We can't go too broken. It has to be of proportion to what the opponent can handle. Should we play it here? We can get a six point kill here if I play it here. That's probably the biggest value I'm going to get on sword, I think. Isn't it? Either way, this gets locked, whatever. It's going to get locked. We have no agent for zeal. No. I was trying to um, look for something. He just walked in on Reince Hyperthin. Yeah, it's true, Pocus. They will just lock this, man. I bring death. Quite yeah, let's lock it. We gotta trust and have faith in ourselves, and I'm gonna call it now. Sunset Wanderers is going to pull us reins, ladies and gentlemen. Sunset Wanderers will pull us reins. I have faith. I believe. It's going to happen right now. Ah! Alright, I tried. Um, magical powers are regenerating. Have, uh, do you have a GOG link? No, I don't have something like that. Sorry. Sword's gonna play great up here. Should I just start playing them now? This is at eight. Increases the odds of getting something good. Yeah, okay. Yes, sword on Siri. How come Tesha Munna in there? Just for extra control. With the provisions I had left over, they're fitting good. Still works good on defenders. You can get good value. But you don't have to have it in there. That's just how I've made the deck. It's all good. Play it as you like. So it's six now. Six is still good. Boosting the 13. And why are they boosting 13? Why not 14? Do they have, um, what's his name? What's that card that destroys a locked, destroys a locked unit? It's a six provision cost card. How do you pronounce it? Van Hammer or something like that? Maybe it's that they're playing? I got no idea. Anyway, we're going in with this. Are you... I think this is a good time. It's at eight, man. We should do this now. We shall see what yes! Holds. All right, it's all good. I don't need Sunset Wanderers to pull reins, man. We're doing it. We're doing great here. Oh, Mosh, welcome. Oh, you better not get Gollum, man. No one can hide reins! Oh my... I can kill it, but I've got Vilgefortz. 
I'm gonna kill it guys. It's all right. It's all right Thank you for the followers. Thank you to uh, Mosh for the raid. Appreciate it. Focus on its movements. Quiet the noise in your head. Yo, it's actually good they got Reince because they played Mentor. Mentor onto Reince would have been 13. Name's Reince. Remember that. It's not even that big. But it, it can definitely do huge damage um, with the order. So we're going to get it out of the way right now. In a yes! Nice. We got a full kill. We didn't get anything out. That's right, baby. Shout out to Mosh, the legend. He works so hard, guys. Go follow him. Oh, it's going to be close. Don't do it to me. It's gonna be that um that card watch that I said, fan hammer whatever you call it. I think so. Is it? I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> oh come on man! They got leader too, dude. It's Filger Forts. Quite the menial task. Oh crap! 